Well, hello and great day to each and every one of you. Lakeisha McKnight is here and I'm glad to be here this morning. It's a brand new morning, as a matter of fact. 8.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Monday, May 14th, 2018. And I want to welcome you once again to the virtual Bible study. This is a virtual Bible study that happens just about every morning. We try to have it frequently where we can help you to connect with the Lord and to really jumpstart your day with God. Now, if we don't have it on a given morning, we do encourage you to still have your devotional time with God. But nonetheless, we are here this morning. And so before we dive into the Word of God in our study, I am going to share on social media and invite people from uh, social media to join us here this morning. And so welcome to those of you who connect from other countries from around the world through the iHeartRadio and Spreaker platform. Thank you so much for listening in and being connected. So I am about to now share on social media. More specifically, I'm about to share on Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I encourage you, uh, if you are listening in, you can also share on your Facebook platform as well. So I'm going to type in join me now. As I am live on, all right, okay, so I'm going to do that. Okay, and I'm about to share on my timeline. This is the first spot where I am going to share. Okay, then I may actually also go back and share. I'm going to share it on my official fan page to invite people from my fan page to join me live here. So let me go ahead and do that as well. Here we are. Perfect. The next place where I am going to share. I want to share it on the actual radio stations page. I have a radio station for Leadership TKO. So I've shared it there. All right, so we're going to do just that this morning. And so once again, welcome. So the way that this works is I read certain parts of the scripture. We talk about what it's saying in context. And then how does this word that we read apply to our lives today? We do spend a portion of the time doing that and discussing that as well. All right, on this platform, on Spreaker, you have the opportunity to engage with me live. There is a chat feature. So if you have a question, a comment, feel free to also post that. And I do encourage you to hit the share button. This allows you to share the gospel. Very powerful because I believe in the power of evangelism. And evangelism is just that, being able to point people in the direction of God. And what greater way to do it than just hitting the share button? Very simple. You never know whose faith will be ignited or re-engaged because you shared it. So I encourage you to go ahead and share this broadcast or this episode, whether you're listening in live or catching the replay. Okay. So I am going to be reading from, uh, once again, Luke chapter 21, the first 19 verses. Again, that's Luke chapter 21, the first 19 verses. All right. So I'll be reading that after we open up with prayer. So let's go ahead and pray. So, Father God in heaven, thank you for this day that you allowed me and all others to wake up to see. We thank you for the air in our bodies that you're allowing us to breathe in. We thank you for the activity of our limbs, dear God. Hallelujah. You've allowed us to use our hands and our arms and our feet. and We thank you for all of these things, Lord. And so, God, in Jesus' name, Lord, I just come before you asking that you would forgive me of all of my sins. 
I ask that you would cleanse my heart and that you would cleanse my mind of all unrighteousness. God, create in us clean hearts and renew a right spirit within us, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Forgive us, God, of anything we've said, done, or thought that has not pleased you or glorified you. Forgive us, Lord. And so, Father God, we thank you, we honor you, we glorify you for all that you've done and everything that you will do. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. And so, God, may your will be done in this Bible study virtually as it's being held. I pray your presence will be in every room. Hallelujah. Where your son or your daughter is. Hallelujah, for you inhabit the praises of your people. And so, God, we thank you and we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So once again, thank you for joining me here. And as I mentioned, we're in Luke 21. We're starting at the very first verse, Luke chapter 21. All right. And we're about to begin reading. And he, Jesus, looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor woman or widow putting in two mites. So Jesus said, truly, I say to you that this widow has put in more than all. For all these out of their abundance have put in offerings for God. But she out of her poverty put in all the livelihood that she had. Verse five. Then as some spoke of the temple, how it was then as some spoke with spoke of the temple, how it was adorned with beautiful stones and donations. Jesus said, these things which you see, the days will come in which not one stone will be left upon another that shall not be thrown down. So they asked Jesus, saying, Teacher, but when will these things be? And what sign will there be when these things are about to take place? Verse 8, And Jesus said, Take heed that you not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he. And the time has drawn near. Therefore, do not go after them. But when you hear of wars and commotions, do not be terrified. For these things must come to pass first, but the end will not come immediately. Then Jesus said to them, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes in various places and famines, and pestilences, and there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and prisons. You will be brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. But it will turn out for you for you as an occasion for testimony. Therefore, settle it in your hearts not to meditate beforehand on what you will answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries will not be able to contradict or resist. You will be betrayed even by parents and brothers, relatives and friends, and they will put some of you to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake but not a hair of your head shall be lost. By your patience, possess your soul. That was verse 19, the final verse that we're reading on today. So, of course, we're going to do a little summary. Let's talk about what it is we've read, a little summary. Now, the first couple of verses, I want to say the first uh, four verses or so, we hear about this widow putting in all that she had. Okay, she gave out of all that she had, not out of her abundance like the wealthy people did, but out of all that she had. Now, how does that, how does this apply to us? What is this saying to us? That we ought to give, you know, give un, kind of, 
you know, give as, as God leads us to give, um, not selfishly, but as God leads us to give. We want to give out of, get it, give from where we are, wherever God has us and not uh, try to hold back from whatever it is that God is leading us to give. It doesn't really speak specifically on tithing, like you should give your tithe, right? Which is a tenth of your income or what it is that you bring in. But giving should not be, well, I'm only going to give God this particular particular portion here. No, give as God guides and directs you to give, uh, but not selfishly. But he'll give you a certain amount. He'll tell you what he wants you to give. You just have to listen. Okay, listening is a key. She she gave out of her poverty, this widow, right? And that was the biggest thing that stood out. She was desperately poor and more fit to be a recipient of charity than a donor, a recipient, okay? That was the biggest thing. See, the, the biggest concern that Jesus had out of uh, the rich was that, you know, there was nothing sacrificial, that these rich people did. See, she sacrificed because she gave of her poverty, out of her poverty. So he wants it to be a sacrificial giving, a sacrificial offering that we give, not something where it's like, oh, you know, but it has to be a sacrifice. Okay. And then the next couple of verses, I want to say verses five through seven. We hear, of course, I think of two disciples had a question. Well, the disciples in general, they had, they had a few questions that they asked. Okay. Uh, they were asking about, you know, the days which are to come and when will these days be? How will we know when the end of the days is drawn nigh? And then that's when Jesus began to share signs, you know, of the coming of his returning, returning back. And so we have to be as believers alert and aware as to when all these things are going to happen. Okay. There's going to be a guarantee that the believer will suffer. Okay. There will be a guarantee that or not, I would say things are going to happen, that things are going to be worse. Okay. Before it gets better for the believer in the sense of worse here on earth. Okay. This is now keep in mind though, this is a, there is a guarantee that we're not going to suffer any eternal loss. Okay, God himself sovereignly preserves the people of God. He preserves the people of God. Okay, and our greatest reward is being with the Lord in heaven. Uh, not necessarily trying to keep us and preserve us here on earth. Because remember, our destination is to be with God. Okay, but understand that, that things are going to be worse. Things are going to happen. And these are just signs of some of the things which are going to happen. And so we need to be alert and aware of these things, reviewing them, keeping them, you know, in our mind so that we're not thrown off guard when these things begin to happen. OK, so just keep that in mind as well. All right. So thank you so much. You know, these are just some things I need you to consider. We're going to continue with chapter 21 on tomorrow, by God's grace, that is, okay? Uh, but I appreciate each and every one of you listening in, every one of you from around the world in various countries. Thank you for listening in. Once again, you know, as you're listening in, feel free to leave comments in the comments area. Uh, but I do want to pray so that we can be dismissed and we can begin our day. And so God, thank you. I thank you for my brother or my sister or my friend listening in from around the world. I pray that you will bless them, keep them, and watch over them as they travel to and fro today. Most importantly, with the word that we've read today on your coming, the coming of Christ, and giving sacrificially, help us to apply this in our lives today, to keep these things in our, in our, in our mind, meditate on it throughout the course of this day, and share it with other people. Hallelujah, God. Let us be prepared. We may not know the day or the hour when Christ is going to return, Father, but help us to be and to get prepared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, God, how do we get prepared? I know that you want us to continue to share the goodness of Jesus with others. And if there's someone listening right now who doesn't know you, Father, I pray that they would ask 
and that they would just ask Jesus to come into their hearts even now, to be their Lord, to be their Savior, that they would confess Jesus and believe, Father, that you've raised Jesus from the grave after he was nailed on that cross and buried in the grave, God. You wrote, you helped him to raise from that grave by the Holy Spirit, the power of God, your power. And so, God, we thank you so much, and I pray that your will be done throughout the entire world. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. <laughs>